Hey fellow rock stars, Dr. Dan here. Now, um, I learned a really cool trick with ScreenFlow. I've been using it for years and it's funny, like, you know, you, you start using a tool or software or something and, you know, you've used it for years and you feel like you're pretty much a ninja with it, right? You know how to do all the cool little tricks and stuff and you teach people how to do stuff and you're so excited about it. But then all of a sudden you, you either think of an idea, you're like, well, this would be cool if it did this and then you Google it and figure it out or somebody else teaches you and you're like, holy crap, I didn't even know you could do that. Uh, well, that's one of these things and I'm kind of feeling pretty dumb that I didn't figure this out myself uh, a lot earlier. Um, but one of the cool tools in uh, ScreenFlow um, and something that should be easier to figure out, but it isn't, um, you know, it will be once, you, once I tell you what it is, but monitoring yourself as you're doing a recording. You know, like when I used uh, iMovie, um, and using the webcam or whatever, it would actually show you a preview of what you're seeing, at least from what I remember. It's been years since I've used iMovie because I'm always using ScreenFlow. But that was one of the reasons why I didn't sit in front of the camera like I am right now, is because uh, with ScreenFlow, I always get irritated. I'm like, man, I can't really monitor myself. It's only when you're about to record, you can monitor yourself, and then afterwards you hit record, then wherever you move, you might be <laughs> off the camera or something and, and you're just like, what the hell? I didn't realize that. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. It's really stupid, it's stupid easy and you're probably gonna kick yourself in the butt if you wanted this feature and you didn't realize that it was as easy to set up like I just figured out myself. Okay, so all you need to do is check it out, okay? So I'm gonna flip the camera over here so we can actually uh, look at the screen Matter of fact, I don't even really need to do this because we're recording the screen right now anyways. Anyway, so you can see that I have this little monitor video open right here, right? And it's, it's the exact same thing that you normally see before you start recording, right? Well, all you got to do is the first thing you do is you just, uh, you know, configure recording, which is how this box first pops up, right? Well, instead of hitting recording here, because when you do hit a record, if you hit record here, then this is going to disappear. This whole box goes away like you normally do. Well, instead, so you open this, you do configure recording, this box is gonna open up. Now, instead of hitting recording here, all you're gonna do is hit record up here. So it doesn't say it right now because it's already recording, but it would say record, and you just record right there, um, or you can use the short code as well. So you can use a short code. I'm not sure, I don't know, yeah, the shortcuts, shortcuts, I'm sorry, not short code. <laughs> I got WordPress on the mind here. You can use the shortcut right here if you wanted to, or just click up here, hit record, and then once it's recording, like it's doing it for me right now, we're recording, but I also have this box in front of me now. So now I can see myself on camera, so I'm looking at myself right now on camera, and all that good stuff. So, see, stupid simple. I thought I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe ScreenFlow didn't do this. And I was about to like, uh, you know, contact their forum and, and feature request and all that stuff. And I found somebody else, asked for the feature request. And then after doing some Googling, um, I found out that you, you can already do it. So I just taught you how to do it. Enjoy that little trick. Be a rockstar in your business and your life.